to Jeopardy. I'm your special guest host, Roger Trebek. I know you were expecting to see my grandfather, Alex, but in honor of Grandparents' Day, I am giving him the night off. All right, so joining us tonight, we have our returning champion, Richard Chambers, a lawyer from San Francisco whose three-day winnings total $53,002. Thank you. It's good to be back, and uh, I love you, Grandma. <laughs> and joining Richard, we have two contestants who are themselves grandparents. We have Phyllis McIntyre, a retired seamstress from Peoria, and Murray Simon from Bayside, Queens. Yeah, yeah. What are we doing wasting time? Uh, let's spin the wheel. All right. I like your enthusiasm. So, on to our questions, which I will have the audience know were all written by actual grandparents. Our categories are World Leaders, A Night at the Movies, When FDR Was President, People Who Actually Call Once in a While, You Should Eat Something, What's the Matter Is Your Stove Broken, and My Cats. So, Richard, the board is yours. Uh, world Leaders for 200. All right. <clears throat> This first female British Prime Minister, a conservative, was nicknamed the Iron Lady. Richard. Who is Margaret Thatcher? Uh, no, I'm, I'm sorry, that's actually, that's not written on my card, but uh, could we get a ruling from the judges, please? I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Ah, Phyllis. Who is that woman who is always standing next to Ronald Reagan with the, the awful hair? Yes, that is written here. Oh. All right, that is correct. So, uh, Phyllis, you may choose the next category. It would make me so much happier to see you choose for me. <laughs> All right then, let me help you. Uh, a night at the movies for two hundred dollars. The answer is the one with that girl and the steps and that creep with the mustache. Murray. I uh, was uh, gone with the wind, right? Correct. <laughs> we also would have accepted Gone with a wind, Gone wind something, or the one with the girl and the steps and that creep with the mustache. Hurry, <laughs> <laughs> your choice. Boy, this is exciting, huh? Uh, okay, uh, same category. <clears throat> All right, a night at the movies for $400 is... <laughs> Daily Double. So, you can risk up to $1,000. $1,000? Jeez, a thousand dollars, you could buy my 1965 X, a brand new. Well, honey, why don't you keep the thousand dollars and put a down payment on a nice ranch house somewhere? <laughs> a thousand dollars? You know, at the dollar store, that'll get you a thousand pairs of socks. That's two thousand socks! All right then, for two thousand socks. <laughs> in this 1941 film, Humphrey Bogart never actually says the line, play it again, Sam. Oh boy, that's a toughie. I need an answer, Murray. Uh, uh what, what was that movie? Ooh, could you be more specific? Uh, what was that movie? Uh, yeah, yeah, you, you know the one I mean. I'm no good with names. Yes, that is correct! <laughs> that movie, Oh, You Know the One I Mean, I'm No Good with Names. <laughs> oh, You Know the One I Mean, I'm No Good with Names. So, Murray, the board is yours. All right, uh, let's mix it up a little bit. Uh, FDR. All right. FDR for $200. The answer is, while FDR was president, this future president was commanding PT-109 in the Pacific. Oh, Richard. Who's Jennifer? Oh, haha. <laughs> you almost got me there. Uh, you want me to say something like, uh, the first Catholic president was married to that nice girl. I think she was Greek. Right, huh? I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Oh, come on. <laughs> Murray. Who is Jack Kennedy? Correct. Oh. <laughs> Show some respect to the dead. What's the matter with you? <laughs> and with that question, folks, we are off to our first commercial break. We will be right back. Oh, almost time. Almost time. So close. So close. <laughs> oh, well, folks, you know that you're, you're already on Jeopardy. This is not a practice round. We don't care about trivia. We're just here for the commercials. <laughs> oh my goodness, Madame Musil! Oh God, I tell you, when that Madame Musil lady starts mixing up that fiery blend, I'm not embarrassed to tell you it's the best part of Little Murray's day. The only film Jeopardy here. The commercials are filmed elsewhere and then they're added later. No, Madame Musil lady. No fixing it. Sorry, no. No forget it? <laughs> hey, uh, what time is it? Uh, it's 
703. 703, okay. Hey, if we leave right now, we can make it back to my apartment in time for Metamucil. What do you say? What kind of car do you drive? American. <laughs> <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, this is a first. <laughs> we have never had contestants leave our program before to watch our program. <laughs> the commercials. But stick with us as Richard takes on the final Jeopardy category, how to make the VCR stop blinking 12 o'clock. <laughs>